know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, uh, a dot is worth a thousand pictures. It's like a focal point on everything you're trying to say. And that's one of the big reasons why I tell my stories in dots. Because everything's dots, right? At the end of every sentence, there's a dot. What would, what would the sky be without the stars? You know, what would Morgan Freeman be without his freckles? Well, it's in all things, it's in everything. Microns, quarks, at a quantum level, it's, it's dots interacting, which means I'm nothing and you're nothing. We're just the expression of dots. If you go back before the Big Bang, all of the universe was compressed into a dot. And I think that's what I'm doing. I'm playing God in some ways. Yeah, maybe I am God. It's hard to add words to what I'm doing because I think they're so self-explanatory. And at the end of the day, all the work is about distillation. I tell great stories and odysseys, you know, I just think the way I do is distilled down to the essence of that storytelling. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm painting the human condition. So yeah, it, was, it was a long journey to find this particular style. I mean, I, I was always creative as a kid, but I grew up rurally. My, my parents, um, they, they saw, you know, that, that creative side as, as, you know, a flight of fancy. I was there to work and, and take over the farm myself someday. I kind of just uh, left. The first place I found was the city of Toronto. I was walking down the street and, and uh, a city bus rolled over my foot, sold for 11 million. Uh, that's how I got the studio space. And that, uh, that was the spark I needed to get started. I knew I needed to pioneer a new path for myself. And I think that's what finally had me land on, uh, you know, just putting one dot on a piece of uh, canvas. It's a process, it's a craft, you know. It's like being an air conditioning repairman, you know. Every time you go back in, it's a slightly different challenge. There's some wires you didn't expect to be there. Uh, you know, I don't know much about air conditioning, I don't know. It feels like it just came from a very deep and real place inside of me. You spend a lot of time getting to know the canvas before you work on it. It's not unlike going on a, on a first date. And you're kind of eyeing her up and, and deciding uh, if you want to go all the way. Uh, I have some experience. It takes a lot of a lot of time. It takes a lot of concentrated effort. There's sometimes where I'm spending months at a time doing research. And there's so much to think about. You know, not just hue and, and color and the size and the placement, but the. I mean, no, that's pretty, those are those things. That's what I worry about. And then I just start doing pieces with very crude implements, very basic stuff, whatever I can get my hands on. Uh, in the end, they're all just extensions of myself, and, and even I am just uh, the tool of the muse, right? Like I'm, I'm the, I'm really the tool, and I'm a complete tool. In order to find the story that I want to tell, I need to tell all the other stories. I just get into kind of a meditative state. And in that state, I just create. I let it all flow out of me. And you know, coming up with whole plans and then tearing those plans down, starting again. And usually what's left is the truth. And you know, the, the dots don't have to be perfect. In fact, the imperfections are part of it. Just as long as, you know, people can tell it's a dot. The most difficult part is getting to that point where you know everything you need to say is in there. Because when you're focusing down the whole idea into the one dot, the empty space in the canvas represents literally everything else in the whole world. So you gotta keep, consider that when you're looking at it, right? There's your your dog, that's Venezuela. Um, you know, up, up here is um, uh, Frogert, you know? At the end of the day, it's about inspiring people. It's about finding a truth, finding something that I think needs to be said and, and, and saying it in a way that nobody else can say it. My advice, get in there and put in the hours. If It's the only thing that uh, gets you anywhere. Um, or, kind of just find a loophole, you know, if you can capitalize on it. From experience, it works pretty good. Some critics say that, you know, anyone can do this. I disagree. 
you know, yeah, I think I'm doing the same work as someone who makes beautiful landscapes or does something abstract, you know, that, that I'm, I'm doing, you know, legally it's art. I know for sure. I want a, a lawsuit.